Number 39 says to fold the zipper tape to the wrong side of the bag. So the zipper tape is the fabric part of the zipper here, and I want to fold it so it's on the wrong side of the bag. So I fold the actual um, fabric of the bag ends up getting folded to make it so that the zipper tape can lay flat. So if you look at from behind, you should be able to see the whole zipper tape laying flat like this. And if you were to look at it from the side, you'd see that the bag of the bag fabric then folds right at the edge right by where your zipper tape is. So 39 says you're going to fold it right up next to the zipper like this. If you fold your fabric so it's on top of your zipper so you can't see it, you won't be able to open and close your zipper freely. So you want to have your fabric folded up next to your zipper, but not on top of it. Okay, if you stretch it as far as you can down this way, and you have all this extra zipper tape, your zipper will not be as strong because the zipper tape fabric is not as strong as your duffel bag fabric is. So you want your fabric to be right up next to your zipper tape, and then you're going to put a pin so that it goes down all the way through the fabric and through the zipper tape on the bottom. And then it's going to come back up like this. And you're going to do that across the whole length of your bag. So you're folding the fabric so it's creased right next to where the zipper is. And you put the pins down and back up again. You're going to do this all the way across your bag, and you'll need five or six pins to be able to hold it in place. Okay. When you, before you sew, flip it over to the back and make sure you can see your whole zipper tape here. The number one mistake that happens on this step is that the zipper tape ends up getting folded and your bag fabric is straight. It looks really similar to what we did, except it makes it so that your zipper tape is always going to get caught in the zipper every time you open and close it. Okay, so you want to make sure that from behind that zipper tape is going to be out of the way so that your zipper can open and close freely. Um, then 39 says you're going to top stitch through the fabric uh, on the right side of your bag. So when you top stitch, you're sewing on the right side of your bag and you're going to see this line on the outside of your bag when you're done. You want to make sure you're using your bag color thread. So because my zipper tape and my bag are both black, it can be confusing. But if my bag was a different color, my bag was green, I would be using green thread when I'm sewing my zipper to make sure that it blends in with my bag. Okay. Now when I go to sew this, I'm going to be sewing a straight line and I'm going to be sewing next to the zipper so when I put my fabric into the machine right now my zipper is on or my needle is on the wrong side of the zipper remember in order to sew next to the zipper if I had my zipper foot down here it would make it so it wouldn't be able to sew straight because it's on the metal part I want to have the foot on the outside of the bag like this, but I need my needle to still be on this side so I can sew close to the edge. So I have to take the zipper foot off, move it over to the other side, and then I can sew. So I'll put the foot down, and again I'm going to line up the edge of my foot um, with the, I'm going to do the edge of the fabric, which should be right next to the edge of the zipper. And I'm going to go straight, I'm going to back stitch. And I'm going to take out the pins before I get there, and I'm going to leave my needle down in my fabric to make sure I don't lose my place. I can hold the fabric from behind, the, uh, the whole zipper from behind, to make sure it stays straight again. This time I have more space over here, so I could hold it in front too. It's so whatever feels more comfortable for you.
Now, just like in number 38, I'm going to stop when I get to where the zipper pull is so I don't have to try to sew around it. So with the needle down, I can lift up my presser foot. I can pull the zipper pull back and put my presser foot back down so I can continue to sew to the end without having to move around it. And when I get to the end, I'm going to back stitch. and cut my thread tails. And when you're finished with this one, you should see a line that's the top stitching, so on the outside of your bag, that goes right next to the zipper to make it so it lays flat. Okay, make sure that this stitching line is the same color as your bag so it blends in nicely. And that's 39.